So as a single mother, do you believe and do you believe you deserve a man in the top percentile? And if so, why would why would that man want you? So uh, all of y'all single moms besides one. So show of hands. Do you think you deserve a man in the top percentile? Now let me tell you what the top percentile is. Yeah. The top percentile is, let's go with height, just six foot. If you want a man that's six foot or above, that's only about 15% of the population. Mm -hmm. or, or it could be even less than that. Um, if you want a man to make 100K minimum, that's about, you know, 10%. 10. 10 you, you looked it up yeah, recently? Okay, so yeah, it's 10% of 10 the percent population. Of US, yeah, make yeah. 100K. So with that being said... Can't turn no kids. Well, 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 that's the no, thing. The men, if the men, has, the if men, he, if the men have kids. kids. Okay, so I didn't understand the question there. Well, well, if the man has kids or if he doesn't have kids, regardless of that, only 10% of men make, you know, 100K. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, so that's what it is. So now the question is now since you know what the percentile is just based off of height, because that's what's important to, yeah, and based off of income, because that's what's really important. Um, so as a single mother, uh, if you want a guy that's in the top percentile, um, do you think you deserve Do you him? think you deserve that man? So show of hands, do you think you deserve a man in the top percentile? Show of hands. We got one. No. Got two. Three. Oh, we got four. Okay, four. Oh, we got five. Okay. <laughs> and you don't Why do they ones. all look so fucking bitter? <laughs> Yo, what's up with them? Like, look. She looks miserable as shit. She looks miserable. She looks fucking clueless as shit. But like, look at them think you deserve that man so show it because he's hearing him. i think he's hearing him and they're like yeah do you think damn 10 percent of men make a hundred thousand and i'm i'm sitting here a single mother looking for a hundred thousand a year like yo yeah your chances is almost slim to none shoddy i'm sorry i think you deserve but look at how he asks them this question look how fucking down and out they all look bro a man in the top percentile show hands we got one fucking miserable got two. miserable look at her face look at her none of them can even look at this nigga in his eyes and say i genuinely deserve a man everyone's body language is down and out mm, me me yeah y'all y'all know y'all don't deserve it and i'm not to say i mean listen to who deserves what i mean you got your shit all in the camera i don't know who deserves what but i can tell by their energy none of them even feel like they deserve it but they're just going to say they do because they want to feel good about themselves. Three. Come on, bro. Oh, we got four. Look, okay, look, four. look at the got faces. Two. Look, she Three. she doesn't even want to raise oh, her hand. Four. Look, she can't even confidently raise her hand, bro. Look at this shit. Like, bro, come on, son. And y'all going to sit here and say, I deserve a uh, man that's six foot and 100,000. Bullshit. You don't even believe it. You don't even believe you deserve it. Four. Okay, four. Oh, we got five. Okay. Like, look at she looks and fucking shot only out. One. So you're the only one I said that you don't think you do. I'm gonna get to you last. Okay. For the ladies that uh, now the question is, um, uh, for that man, what you wait? Okay, deserve a man in the top percentile, if so, and if so, why would that man want you? Okay, and if so, why would that man want you? Mm. Okay, um, let's start here. So you think you deserve him? Why would that man want you? Um. Well, for one, because I'm a very good mother. Um, I'm not a perfect mom, but I'm a very good mom. So I think. But what shows, does that have to do with him? Because I think that shows a lot about my character. Um, and why do I think I deserve it? Because I believe that. Well, wait, wait, time out. That doesn't show that. So if you are a single mother, mm -hmm. you being a good mother, that doesn't show that you, you have good character because single mothers normally don't have good character, generally speaking, because they chose the wrong man, meaning that they normally broke up the relationship they oh, initiated the breakup <laughs> so they it, they show poor single moms show the worst characteristic traits to be honest i'll tell you i'll explain why because if they had good characteristic they traits they father. would be with the baby father they I, would have chose a man that's worthy of them to have a good kid with and they would stay with that man furthermore they would see that okay if i leave this man then my daughter or my son would be without a father and we know that a child without a father leads to more degeneracy my 22 year old self and this is the thing we always skip past that step it's always oh i ended up a single mother because the guy i picked ended up cheating on me well or this 
Listen, you picked that man to begin with. That's what all of this starts from. You couldn't judge because you were so fucking in love. Bl oh, you guys love this saying, right? I was blinded by love, right? And you you looked past all the signs of him being a fuck nigga. Now you end up by yourself with a kid. And all of a sudden it's, oh, um, this, that, and the third. Men this, men that. Yo, you picked the man, shorty. This is If you had good judgment and knew what was up, you would have picked a good dude. Or waited till you found a good dude to have kids with, then that relationship would stand. But the fact that you're a single mother with no dude in a picture shows your character and it shows the character of the man that you picked, bro. You guys can't get around that. I'm sorry. You're single with a kid is because you most likely picked a fucked up nigga, bro. Whether you want to believe that shit or not, bro. I don't care how young you were. I don't care what I was. Da, 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 I'm not hearing none of that, bro. You picked that shit would kick myself in the face for ever like picking the man that i chose to have a child but okay so i like... just wanted to let you know that when we see a single mom we don't see good character even if she can claim that she's a good mom we see terrible mom oh i can't wait to answer this no, I, no, I, I, you know, and I, I do agree with that to a point no, uh, i wouldn't say terrible mom but we see we see what's wrong with you as a woman that the relationship didn't work that's what i see What's wrong with you as a woman that this relationship is not working? But I, I think because my loyalty is very high and I believe that if he is a very good man and he provides for me and he loves me and he loves my child, you know, because that is my child, then he deserves every ounce of respect and loyalty. Like I said, I would worship the ground that Tyrone walked on. Like it, it's just, it's because what I'm willing to bring to the table for you is worth who like i respect you i admire you okay let's get to her what's your take on it regardless whether or not i'm a single mother i'm able to to do everything else whether or not i have a, a baby or not i still can be a great wife even if i have my, my my kid have nothing to do with my quality as a wife no what single mothers show is that you're selfish because you prioritize yourself over the kid if you prioritize the kid you would have worked through through thick and thin to keep that relationship no. with the father why does it you would have to, why does the responsibility have to fall on me just because i'm a female what if the well, guy was the one it, generally that? speaking generally speaking right generally speaking <laughs> most women initiate breakups and divorces so what is it 70 to 80 percent of divorces are initiated by women so they're breaking up a family so they're they're removing the father from the home by their own feelings so they only prioritize how they feel they're you're selfish Generally speaking, no, not no. y'all. Yeah, well, y'all single moms, y'all are selfish freak no. out. What about men? What about <laughs> men though? For example, we know I'm... men do bad things. <sighs> what? Oh, what is okay. that? Sorry. Men, men do bad <laughs> things. I'm... What I'm saying is, for instance, I feel like there's this thing in society. Now, here's the problem: when you have a child not being married, this is where it gets real serious, right? Because you have a couple ways to look at this. Now, to my knowledge, you know, I don't know who believes in God in the Bible, right? But they say. The Bible says, um, you know, having a kid through marriage, right? Or wedlock or not wedlock, I can't remember how it is, but yeah, having a kid through marriage, right? Now, how many of these women had a kid and they weren't married, right? Now that's step one. You guys weren't even married and you had a kid. Now step two, in the Bible, if I'm not mistaken, or when you're getting your vows and everything, it says, till death do us part, right? till death do us part so if you had waited till you were married and you actually believed you know if you believed in the bible and then you actually waited till you got married then had kids then you were in a situation both of you guys where it's until death do us part there is no breaking up of the family because you then understand no matter what happens we have to work through this we have to work through this because it, we made vows and we we did this shit to say that until death do, so no matter what's going on we're gonna get through it the family stays there you may have some rough patches but the family is still there and it will be there it'll be there for the children until the children are old enough and then if you feel like you may have to split at that point when the kid's 18 or whatever 15 you know that's different but yeah ah i'm not hearing that Society I'm not hearing that. Because I'm not hearing that. In society, we're blamed because we're this. Women do initiate majority of breakups and uh, 
divorces. That is a statistic fact. That thing. So. <laughs> what I'm saying is, for instance, I feel like there's this thing in society that we are blamed because of the men that we choose. Sometimes we yes. are deceived. Yes. Every time we meet mm -hmm. a person and we think, oh my God, this guy's going to be such an amazing father. We think. And they turn out to be completely A-H. So who, who has to take blame? The deceiver or the deceived? The deceiver, because he knew that he, he, so was, he wasn't So should prepared. the deceiver take all the blame? No, no. The, should the, the deceived the take some blame? Take some blame, of course. Because for Okay, example, so that's like, accountability. You do something and I have reaction to it, right? Yeah. Right? Then I am part of the problem because I have reaction to it. It's going to be always going to be out both of our fault. But I feel like the deceiver, the person that Showing made the right, mistake, should asleep. be held more accountable. So why does the, the blame falls on the women for leaving when it wasn't the right situation in the first place? Yeah, so Maybe when... I am selfish because I'm taking care of my kid. I'm making sure that my kid doesn't get raised in a bad environment. Well, so, <laughs> the worst environment is for a kid to be raised in a single mother household. Yeah. Statistics show. Statistics show that single mother households leads to um, juvenile uh, delinquents. It leads to um, uh, most of men are in prison. Um, came from single mother households. Most of the school shooters came from single mother households. Uh, most of the degeneracy that you see in the gang violence in Chicago and in, in North New Jersey and all of these areas Shout around the world. Jersey. And things like that. Shout out to fucking Jersey, huh? Where niggas know about these these niggas are, from Jersey? What's up? Are, you know, areas where there's no father figure in the home because the woman Picks kicked the man name. out the home. She married the government via welfare, was like, oh, let me get this government check. Or if not that, she just chose the wrong man. Like, you got power. You choose who you give your sex to. Power, right? You have power. You choose which man you're going to have a kid by. You got power. You get to choose if you can, you know, terminate the baby or not. You got so much power, but you still make poor decisions with your power. So when I see a single mom, right, I see a woman decisions. that made all the wrong choices and only prioritized how she feels. She's selfish. Yes. Will you yes. ever date a, a single mom? No. I mean, single moms need love, too. They can they, can, they can get a little a they, they they can get a little they can get a little uh, a little recreational use only sometimes. Wow. You believe that single moms are damaged? Yes. Are uh, damaged goods? Well, well, damaged goods. Oh, I believe that. No. I wouldn't say damaged, but you're definitely uh, on the clearance rack. Not damaged goods, but you ever go to Walmart and you go to the back. And they got the rack with the extra bread on it. And then sometimes they got some bread. It'll have some muffins. It'll have some cookies on there. Around now, you might catch an apple pie or a pumpkin pie on there. Y'all know what I'm talking about. It got the shit on there. It got the goods. They a little discounted, though, because they might expire in the next, like, three days or so for it. Maybe even two. So they got them on the rack on a little discount. They, they not really half off, but they a couple dollars off. That's kind of where the single mothers is at. Like, y'all not... Y'all not valueless, but you're not the fresh John. You're not the fresh loaf of bread, but you're not moldy and expired either. You know what I'm saying? I can work with a loaf of bread, a half a loaf of bread, or six corn muffins that expire in two days. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a work with them six corn muffins for the next four days, even though they expired two days ago. I'm still going to eat them. I'm still going to eat them. You get me? That's that's kind of how I see it. Like y'all not valueless, but you're not valueful to a single to a single man with no kids. If you're a single man with kids and you're a single mother with kids, then yeah, I think it's fucking even, 100% even. You got a kid, I got a kid, we both single. You can't say shit to me, I can't say shit to you. You know, but yeah. Shout out to Walmart, you heard? <laughs>